Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about exercise technique. Now, most people think, especially when they start off, and, and sometimes when they get, or at least they find some sort of level of success with a certain technique, they start to feel that an exercise can only be done one way, safely. And in some cases, they're right. In some cases, maybe there's a certain compound lift that you find that you have to really tweak or mess around with in order to find that perfect uh, technique or range of motion or, or whatever it is in order to make sure that your body is not experiencing the wrong type of pain because there are certain movements that are more sensitive to the body than others depending on how you're built. But one thing I want to address is that in some exercises there are going to be ways to hit the muscle uh, from multiple angles just by adjusting the exercise slightly or you can also adjust the technique accordingly throughout the set within the same set and make a glorified extended set to make sure that you hit a muscle into the deepest amount of failure as possible. So say you're doing incline curls in order to hit that bicep into as deep as failure as possible. You're hitting that bicep brachial and maybe you're doing high reps or medium reps or whatever it might be, right? And you are in the middle of a set and you have found a certain technique that you find to work the best for you. But is there a way of extending that set? Is there a way of pushing that muscle or multiple muscles around that area into a deeper level of failure once you've exhausted the first perfect repetition option? That's the question. So a lot of times you'll go from point A to point B, you're feeling the bicep and you get so many reps and then all of a sudden you're starting to hit fatigue and you're getting that massive pumpy and lumpy feeling. Well then sometimes just by a minor adjustment, you can extend that set even further. Maybe it's by externally rotating the arms a little bit, or maybe it's just by pronating the hands and starting to bring in the brachialis to help that brachii go deeper into failure because you're getting some extra reps and you are recruiting a little bit of the brachii, one could argue, as you're doing a hammer curl and therefore now you're able to bring that brachii into a deeper level of failure and also hit the brachialis as well. So it's like a strip set except for in the middle of the set you are adjusting the technique. Now the other thing to also consider, which is the most obvious application of this, is that you start off strict with your reps and then you start to progressively swing a little bit or put a little bit of momentum into your set to extend into more and more reps, right? So you don't want to go too extreme with this, of course, because you don't want to get injured, but at the same time, there is a usable or safe momentum that can be used in order to extend the set and put that muscle into a deeper level of failure. One could also talk about this when it comes down to lateral raises. Maybe when you start off with a lateral raise, you're coming all the way to the top, but you notice that as you hit absolute fatigue, you start to recruit more and more of the neck at the top and you're not able to really squeeze those shoulders into a deeper level of failure. Well, we all see pro bodybuilders do this where they might not be able to accomplish full reps, but then they just do partial reps at the bottom to really push that shoulder into as deep a pain and as deep a failure as possible in order to grow those delts. So this is something to, to really look at, especially in your isolation exercises. Another thing you can do too is adjust technique throughout the set to hit multiple areas. Like say I'm doing skull crushers and I want to hit the, the tricep close to the elbow. Well, I may start off by bringing the bar or the dumbbells closer to the forehead, right? To do more of an aggressive sort of form with lighter weights, of course. And I will make a video on this. This is coming up pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. And then once I feel like I've hit failure, now I can start to recruit the muscle belly in the tricep to extend the set by bringing the elbows up and then extending the set by doing more reps with the full tricep instead of mostly uh, or mainly isolating the smaller parts of the tricep, meaning the, the smaller muscles of the three heads, right? So you could extend the set by basically making it into a movement that you can use heavier weight, therefore doing more reps, but at first you're starting off with a more strict form or a form that hits the smaller muscle groups first. And therefore, when you need to extend the set, then you just adjust the technique and then you can keep going, right? So this is a great way to hit the muscle overall and also to keep the exercises enjoyable to you because if you're always doing things always the same way, it can get kind of boring or maybe you hit a plateau or maybe you're, you're noticing that you're just not getting the results that you wanna get. Even though you've gotten some results with said technique, 
So then it's just by small adjustments in the middle of the set, you can start extending those sets and then get more results overall and get more pumpy and lumpy. Mountain. So yeah, I hope this helps you out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get home, just go to naturallandbodybuilding.com and thanks to the patient supporters and take care for now. It's time to eat a chicken. I think I'm gonna go eat a chicken now. Cooked, of course. I don't eat it raw. You know, I'm not like some of these crazy idiots on the internet, you know, trying to prove how alpha they are because they can drink raw eggs and they can eat raw chickens and they can, you know, eat sticks and stuff. Mmm. Those look good. Lots of minerals. Mmm. I'll be really alpha if I can eat those. I'm sorry, I just haven't gotten there yet, all right? I don't think I'm ever going to get there. Sorry, I like to eat food. Okay. Natural land.